Andre Ayton. The Bahamas Tonight, the weekend edition starts now. Welcome to the Bahamas Tonight, the weekend edition. I'm Desmond Saunders. Thanks for joining us. The Department of Marine Resources advising residents that the Caribbean spiny lobster season, commonly known to Bahamians as a crawfish season, is currently closed. This means that during the period of April 1st through July 31st, 2024, it is an offense for persons to take, capture, have in possession, kill, or offer any fresh or live crawfish for sale. Director of the Department of Environmental Protection and Planning, Dr. Rihanna Neely Murphy, urging residents, particularly fishermen, to adhere to the rules. This season corresponds with the peak breeding times of the lobster. And so it's very important that we adhere to the closure. The season is opened from August 1st back until March 31st. And during the open season, there are also size limits um, to ensure that only mature adults are caught. This helps as with the close season to ensure that we have a lobster population and a healthy lobster population for generations to come. Crawfish, a popular delicacy for Bahamians, is the largest fishery and an important contributor to the economy and provides income to many fishermen, seafood vendors and exporters. If we do not adhere to the closure of the season, we run the risk of crashing the species and what this means is that the numbers are reduced so low that they would not be able to reproduce into the future and this has implications for our economy but it also has implications for our culture as Bahamians lobster is a huge part of our food and our recreational culture so it is important that we all pay attention to the closed season that we respect the closed season and that we report anyone that we see catching lobster or, or related species during this time. In news from the crime beat, officers from the Royal Bahamas Police Force arresting three males and female during an operation dubbed ceasefire Saturday morning at a residence off Mackey Street. Reports say officers executed a search warrant at a home on Keyless Close during the search of firearm along with an ammunition were seized. Investigations continue. Well, a major resort in the country experiencing high occupancy levels. In fact, Bahama saw its best month on record since opening its doors. Bahamas Hotel and Tourism Association President and Senior Vice President at Bahama, Robert Sand, says business is booming and positive with a promising future. First quarter for Bahama has been extremely strong. Uh, and perhaps uh, March 2024 uh, may be recorded as the single best month in our history. And we are also looking forward to a second quarter that also remains robust and strong. Uh, significantly, our transit business is very strong as well going into the second quarter. Uh, we are hopeful that the, this trend, this positive trend continues for the entire year. Uh, and we are working very hard to ensure that that happens. Oh, some good news for the economy. We boast about the millions of visitors that flock to our shores, either by air or sea, but have we ever wondered what they have to say about their experience vacationing in paradise? Well, recently at the Atlantis Paradise Island Resort, we got a chance to speak to a few visitors who shared what they liked most about their stay at the popular resort. It's really beautiful here, and there's a lot of activities to do, like swim with dolphins, sea lions, the water park is beautiful, and just the Bahamas in general. There's water slides, there's pools, and there's the beach, multiple beaches, and plenty of restaurants to try. We've tried the car mines, um, back here, sea fire, and Nobu. Nobu was the best by all. It's come leadership training for high school students in the country. You're watching The Bahamas Tonight, the weekend edition. There's more after this.
tune in to the 5th Annual Elevation Awards, Saturday, April 6th at 6 p.m., live on the ZNS TV network from Sandals Royal Bahamian in beautiful Nassau, Bahamas, with live performances by Nishi L.S., Julian Believe, Wendy242, Sammy Starr, Patrice Morel, Shine Bahamas, Ilsha, Fan Sean, Judah the Lion, Carrington McKenzie, Alia Coley, Osley and Jadort, Sherwin Gardner, Colin Christopher, Davy and Chase, and many more. Hosted by Sherelle Roxy Star Duncan. That's the 5th Annual Elevation Awards, April 6th, live on the ZNS TV network from Sandals Royal Bahamian. Join me, Sherelle Roxy Star Duncan, as I host this year's Elevation Awards. Because I support the culture, and you should too. Catch the 5th Annual Elevation Awards, Saturday, April 6th at 6 p.m., only on ZNS TV 13. Since 1974, the National Insurance Board has been an income replacement safety net. But to ensure our future remains secure, starting July 1st, 2024, contribution rates will increase and will continue to be shared by employers and employees. We will be sharing more information in the upcoming months. But for now, get more details on nibrateincrease.com. Invest in tomorrow today with NIB. Because together, we can ensure our financial future. Exuma, get ready. They're coming from around the country to determine who will be the top six. The backdrop, the most beautiful waters with the most beautiful young ladies in the country. Get ready for the preliminaries of the Miss Teen Bahamas International. This Saturday, April 6th at 7 p.m., Sandals Emerald Bay Resort Ballroom. Admission $20 at the door. The competition is about to intensify. The Miss Teen Bahamas International is brought to you by Platinum Sponsor February Point. Star Apple, Super Club's Breezes, Kermit's Airport and Lounge, Western Air, Peace and Plenty Resorts, Four Seas Adventure, Lorraine's Cafe, Wendy's, Zama Group of Companies, Titan Hospitality Group of Companies, The Farmhouse Bistro, The Ministry of Tourism, Exuma Travel and Transportation Limited, Grand Isle Resorts, Great Exuma, The Broadcasting Corporation of the Bahamas, Exuma District Council. This portion of the news is brought to you by Full Call Smart Pass, the smart way to pay at the pump. Well, welcome back. Nearly 30 student leaders from public and private schools around the country getting a chance to sharpen their leadership skills and prepare for the future. The youngsters were part of a six-week leadership high school leadership program. Program coordinator, Wayette Spence. Congratulations to some of the best young people in this country. Now, 10 weeks has turned to 16 weeks. We were supposed to end in December. The kids didn't want to go. We didn't want them to go. But it's time to go. <laughs> the high school leaders program was developed by the Division of Youth as a means of providing leadership, development, civic engagement, networking, mentorship, and youth empowerment for young leaders. Minister of Youth Sports and Culture, the Honorable Mario Bulleg, encouraging the group to never stop dreaming. Never settle and follow your purpose in life. God never requires anything from you that he does not already have in you. In every seed, there's a tree. In every boy, there's a man. In every girl, there's a woman. So when a tree blossoms, it bears fruit. And then we learn where it's mango, coconut, orange, or apple. As you become woman, and as you become man, understand your purpose in life. Follow it and fulfill it. Well, occasionally a woman connects with a brand and inspires a whimsical and fancy feel to it. Well, the brand Love Shack Fancy was recently introduced to the Bahamas, and tonight, Jimmy Swain tells us the company hopes their collection fancies those 
fashion forward patrons. Love nothing more than to make women feel beautiful and, um, you know, special. From two year olds all the way up to grandmas, that covers practically everyone. The Love Shack fancy brand making its debut in the Bahamas. The lifestyle women's line, headed by Stacey Lillian, got its start back in 2013. But what exactly inspired it to make the jump here? So I come here every year with my family, and last year we were here for spring break, and I said to my team back at home, I said, we have have to have a Love Shack fancy pop-up next summer or next spring break and so um, my team was able to make it happen and I think it's such a perfect experience for everyone. The pieces here are literally perfect for the Bahamas. We have so much resort wear, cotton, silk, mini dresses, skirts, literally everything. The pop-up held at Rotonda Shops at the Balmar Resort. I had an opportunity to try on a few pieces. After all, as Lillian explains, they have more than 2,000 vintage-inspired designs along with unique prints and ruffles on display. So we have some of our best-selling shapes, like our ruffle mini skirt, which um, has an elastic waist, which everyone can wear. Um, we're really well known for our little short-waisted dresses that have elastic waist as well. Um, we have some great, amazing smocked pieces. Sales and marketing manager is Elizabeth Cates. ITS Luxury Retail, we are a family-owned company started by my grandfather, um, so we are Bahamian-owned. We really love what we do in bringing luxury to Nassau. We are so thrilled to bring Love Shack Fancy to the Bahamas. Um, it's a beautiful brand, women-led, um, just celebrating femininity, um, women empowerment, and we're so excited to partner with them. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Jiminita Swain. For the news segment of the Weekend Edition, after the break, sports with Emma John Knowles. Stay with us. In the yellow elder garden, Ali and her cousins listen to Grammy share tales. The 70s so sweet, with themed costumes and dancing feet. Then came the brass, reaching new heights. A symphony of Bahamian nights. The 2000s, the yellow elder, a symbol of pride. Grammy's legacy in view as Ali dances in her yellow elder costume. We are alive. Tune into the 5th Annual Elevation Awards, Saturday, April 6th at 6 p.m. Live on the ZNS TV network from Sandals Royal Bahamian in beautiful Nassau, Bahamas. With live performances by Michelle S., Julian Believe, Wendy242, Sammy Starr, Patrice Morel, Shine Bahamas, Ilsha, Fan Sean, Judah the Lion, Carrington McKenzie, Alia Coley, Osley and Jadort, Sherwin Gardner, Colin Christopher, Davian Chase, and many more. Hosted by Sherelle Roxy Star Duncan. That's the 5th Annual Elevation Awards, April 6th, live on the ZNS TV network from Sandals Royal Bahamian. Join me, Sherelle Roxy Star Duncan, as I host this year's Elevation Awards. Because I support the culture, and you should too. Catch the 5th Annual Elevation Awards, Saturday, April 6th at 6 p.m., only on ZNS TV 13. Dozens of students and teachers gathered in the foyer of the Ministry of Education yesterday to showcase their many talents at the Agricultural Science Exhibition. Every year, the Agricultural Science Unit in the Department of Education have an exhibition to showcase what it is that schools are doing in their agricultural science programs. So here we have a variety of plants, seedlings, um, fruits and vegetables, as well as eggs and meat products. So that persons can see that schools are really doing agriculture, 
and they're doing it well. That's senior education officer Patrice Green, who adds that the goal is to make agricultural careers more appealing to kids. So we're just showing them the whole process of from growing to the sale of items so that they can see that you can really make an income out of agricultural science and you can also be an entrepreneur at the end of the day. We heard from schools like C.H. Reeves Junior High School who has an impressive crop program. We do greens mainly, bok choy, cabbage, onions, tomatoes, cabbage, carrots sometimes. It's a small, small program, mini farm. We, we lock soil, so we use them. Um, Continent farming mostly, putting tires in soil and grower crops. T.A. Thompson also participated under a reduce, reuse, recycle theme. The whole purpose of it is to show you that you don't have to be go extravagant, you don't have to use expensive products in order to grow stuff for you to eat. Because if you look here, you see we have a watering bottle. It has the holes in the top so that you can easily water your plants like a watering can. You don't have to go and buy an expensive watering can from the store. Also, we have the same bottle cut in half that you can use as a flower pot. All you do is just poke holes in the bottom and then you, can use it. you don't have to go and buy an expensive flower pot. Also, we have cups that we use and when they get this tall, you can just knock around it, take it out and transplant it and H.O. Nash Junior High School with its livestock farming program. Basically, it's just like selling eggs, so just showing about the chickens, how our school um, takes care of the animals. After we collect the eggs out of the pen, we usually wash them, and then we let them sit out and dry. And after that, we just, if they're still wet, we wipe them down and then we pack them up and sell them. We also caught up with this H.O. Nash student who has dreams of one day becoming a farmer. My spiritual agriculture, when I first come there in grade seven, I didn't like it a lot. So I put my talent and stuff in it and I put my time into it and I really like it. It's a good, it's a good program to be in. I, I hope that we will try to go in it too. Keeping you in the know with Good to Grow, I'm Leah Cooper. Introducing the Focal Smart Pass app that helps you to fuel up faster. Here's how it works. Download the app on the App Store or get it on Google Play and create your profile with payment details. Visit your nearest Shell station, open the app, scan the pump's QR code, select your payment amount and begin fueling. Say goodbye to cash and cards because the Focal Smart Pass offers secure and convenient payment options right at your fingertips. Download Focal Smart Pass now and fuel up faster today. This is ZNS Total Sports. Welcome to your Saturday Sports, everyone. I'm Amish Allen, Olds, topping sports with the 2024 World Athletics World Relays fast approaching. Marketing for the event dubbed from Paradise to Paris ramping up. The organizers are feeling that there will be a pregame event ahead of the actual relays that will serve as a platform for younger athletes. Stakeholders updating the media yesterday, and this is what they had to say. This is a showdown like no other. This year, the exception we have included, not just local athletes, but we extend from the kids' athletic portion, which is new. We've never had kids' athletics before, which is considered the ages from U7 to U15, which is kids' athletics portion, where we cover relays, such as the shuttle hurdle relays, which is different from what we usually do all the way to um, Special Olympics, where we, we have these inclusions of it. The schedule is made up of relays, four by one relays from the under 11 to the under 15 age groups. And for the younger kids, we do have a shuttle relay, which would be the four by 80. We also have the invitational. The invitational will be the four by one relays for boys and girls, as well as the mixed relay. From the association, DeAndre Eaton continuing a stellar second half of the season as he would post 34 points, going 13 of 25 from the field, along with 13 rebounds, three assists, two steals, and two blocks in the Blazers' 108-102 win over the Wizards on Friday. Aiden would lead all players in the contest in scoring and shots made while hauling in a team-high tying rebound total. 
to go along with the team best pair of blocks. Aiden's had a new season high in scoring in the victory, posting his fourth game with 30 or more points. All four of Aiden's 30-point outings have come in his last 11 contests, and he's added 13 or more boards in each of those games. So in basketball, he's about to become a household name in the American collegiate basketball scene, but even before he reaches full superstardom, Beeman High School basketball phenom on B.J. Edgecombe doing his part to give back. During a recent press conference held in the lead-up to the McDonald's All-American game, B.J. talks about a scholarship he established for students at his former school, Gateway Christian Academy in Bimini, to help those in need. On the scholarship, I place back home. I mean, I just want to help kids. I mean, you know, kids that aren't funded properly, um, doesn't have, like, a strong base, strong foundation um, financially. I just want to be able to help them, allow them to be happy and give an opportunity to, you know, get free education um, at one of the probably best schools in the Bahamas. So, yeah. All right. Um, being from the Bahamas, I mean, you don't have much kids making it out, to be honest. So, I mean, that's what that's what drives me. And, you know, taking care of my family and everything is like what really drives me. Um, you know, in the Bahamas, we don't have, we don't have like, the, the platform and everything. So we have, to, we have to grind hard and do what we have to do to make it in. So I'm just thankful for that. Last one, look at your sports on this Saturday. A check on weather. When we return. This is ZNS Total Sports. You watch them grow and make plans for them even before they're old enough to talk. You spend a lifetime of sacrifice to pave the way for their success and create a tomorrow you too can be proud of. Can you tell who is the investor? At Len, we believe everyone who has ever put a penny aside for a future dream is an investor. If you're new to investing, Leno's financial experts stand ready to design plans based on your goals. Let's sit down and explore the options one-on-one -on -one and see how, together, we can make your dreams come true. Whether considering traditional investments like a new home, car, your own business, security and retirement, or your child's college fund, we take the confusion out of the process and make an investor out of you. Call 396-3225 for an appointment. Leno, your bridge to the future. Here at Immigration Care Service, you can trust us, especially if you have experienced issues or problems with the U.S. immigration at the borders. We'll do our best to provide options and solutions to immigration roadblocks so travelers can continue visiting the U.S. and residents can continue living their lives in the U.S. without worries. The best part? Our services are affordable and accessible. Take the mystery, confusion, and fear out of your immigration concerns. Contact Immigration Care Service today. Have you ever purchased a defective item and was denied an exchange or cash refund? Contact the Consumer Protection Commission at 393-779-528 or our 24-hour complaints hotline at 357-7898 and let us help your voice be heard. Hey, Good day and welcome to Harborside Chats with the Central Bank of the Bahamas. I'm Governor John Rule. That the Central Bank is a, a resource which the Bahamas has at its disposal. The idea of a one-to-one -one, uh, relationship between the American dollar and the Bahamian dollar is ingrained in our DNA. Working within the Central Bank, there's no glass ceiling for women. Don't I tell you we shouldn't park you, not a spray park you, I tell you we shouldn't park you. No, you want to do this my bad, big, my bad, big bro. And he get a stick inside this thing. This mod, though. We get a move. This is a honey gas. But we get a move. Don't leave him right now. Sorry. Be considerate. Don't use disabled parking spaces without a decal in your vehicle. 
This message is brought to you by the National Commission for Persons with Disabilities. Exuma, get ready. They're coming from around the country to determine who will be the top six. The backdrop, the most beautiful waters with the most beautiful young ladies in the country. Get ready for the preliminaries of the Miss Teen Bahamas International. This Saturday, April 6th at 7 p.m., Sandals Emerald Bay Resort Ballroom. Admission $20 at the door. The competition is about to intensify. The Miss Teen Bahamas International is brought to you by Platinum Sponsor, February Point. Star Apple, Super Club's Breezes, Kermit's Airport and Lounge, Western Air, Peace and Planet Resorts, Four Seas Adventure, Lorraine's Cafe, Wendy's, Zamar Group of Companies, Titan Hospitality Group of Companies, The Farmhouse Bistro, The Ministry of Tourism, Exuma Travel and Transportation Limited, Grand Isle Resorts, Great Exuma, The Broadcasting Corporation of the Bahamas, Exuma District Council. Time now for a check on tonight's weather forecast. Chief Meteorologist Basil Dean joins us in studio with the latest temperatures. Good evening, Basil. Uh, good evening, Desmond. We have clear skies this evening. Temperature a warm 80 degrees, relative humidity somewhat on the dry side at 47%. West northwest winds at 6 miles bar. The barometric pressure 1,016.0 millibars. That is 30.00 inches. And your temperatures around the islands this evening. Marsh, Abacco, 75. Also Green Toll Key, 75 degrees. 75 in Freeport, Grand Bahama. The Mary Islands at 74, Alistair Bimini 73 degrees, Harbor Island 79, Roxanne Elutra 77 degrees, in Fresh Creek Central Andros, the Mercury Column at 81 degrees, 82 in Kemp's Base on Andros, Black Point Exuma at 80 degrees, 76 in Ardestan, Cat Island, and San Salvador also, Room Key at 76 degrees, in uh, Georgetown 78 degrees, there are 80s in Rygate Island, Clarence Sound Long Island, Crooked Island, Betsy Bay, and Acklands, Matthew Tiny Niagara 82 and the Turks and Caicos Islands, also 82 degrees. Bony forecast uh, for all areas tonight through Sunday. Northerly flow at 10 to 15 knots away, fights 2 to 4 feet over the ocean. Now, your high tide, that will take place at 7.51 this evening, another high tide at 7.14 tomorrow morning. And satellite pictures uh, showing that frontal boundary now pushing off to the southeast of the Bahamas, leaving behind high pressure and control of our weather. And that means it's going to be mainly clear skies during the nighttime and lots of sunshine during the daytime. Tonight, mostly clear, 68 degrees for your low. And tomorrow, we're looking at sun uh, with some high clouds around, but a beautiful day shaping up for you, but a high temperature getting up to 78 degrees. And your extended weather forecast. We're going to have sunny weather with us right through uh, the middle of our next week. Wouldn't be until about Friday or so when we get a little bit of rain in the forecast, and that will be courtesy of a weak frontal system that will move into the area, and uh, that will keep temperatures pretty toasty during the daytime. We'll get back up into those 80s as of Tuesday of next week. Nighttime temperatures climbing out of the 60s to the 70s on Tuesday, and that will remain with us for the balance of next week. Desmond. Thank you, Basil. That ends the Bahamas tonight, the weekend edition. We thank you for continuing to make ZNS your first choice for news and information. Only the sun covers the Bahamas better than ZNS. On behalf of the entire team, thanks for watching and good night.